I bought a wheel. So, uh, you heard me right. I did have to buy the wheel because Fanatec refused to send me free shit. So, while Muya the second unboxes. Uh, anyways, actually, let me turn off the... Nice. Anyways, after six months of waiting, my CSLDD finally arrived. And in this video, we're going to be trying it. Like, I'm going to be... Okay, you're going to be watching me try it for the first time. So, I'm probably the dumbest person who has access to a direct drive wheel now. Which is pretty good and yeah, the result is gonna be rather interesting So my camera overheated while I was recording and I forgot what I was saying. anyways uh, Before mounting let me run you through the specs through the stuff. I chose to waste my money on <sighs> So uh, as you can see ah! I bought the Fanatec uh, CSL uh, DD and I did the big brain move to upgrade to the 8 newton meter power supply so that, you know, when I crash, it can snap my wrists to simulate, you know, injury. Th this is proper stuff, guys. And if I move... So it's finally time to uh, desk mount it. So this is the... This is the... Desk mount. I did not take measurement. Il momento della verità. I mean, why the fuck does it always have to be me? Who's... The fuck? Hey, moglie. Check the wardrobe. The wardrobe? Yes, the wardrobe. That one? Yes, you fucking brain dead Italian piece of rotten pizza. Come on, show me what you... Let's fucking see. <sighs> All jokes aside, big up to Next Level Racing for sending over their wheel stand 2.0 and actually making this video possible. Keep in mind that I will send this product free of charge, but that this does not influence what I can or cannot say about it. Like most people, I don't live in the BMW Motorsport Center, so I needed something compact that could easily be stored away, yet strong enough for my direct drive wheelbase. So as for storage, the Wheelstand 2.0 is actually perfect, since it neatly fits in my wardrobe, and it only takes me about 5 minutes to get it all set up. Plus, it also has the gaming chair cradle, which in my opinion is just pure genius. All in all, I feel very comfortable with recommending you this product. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out at the link in the description. But what about the wheel? And this is the setup. So I'm definitely recording this video on the same day, 100%. But yeah, we're here. It's off. I haven't turned it on yet. And this may be kind of stupid on my side. <laughs> like, what if it doesn't even work? Fuck. So I think you have to press... Wait, did I install the drivers? Okay, the drivers are installed, so I guess I'm gonna turn it on and do the setup. Let's see. It moves! So, it should be all set up. I had some problems uh, setting up the, the shifter, and uh, but, but it is fixed now. It is fixed, so I guess we play some B and G. I don't know what to drive and where, so I'm gonna ask the di- And of course, you guys chose the pigeon. Anyways, before driving, I want to tell you to like and subscribe and also I gotta have a spot for channel members so big up to them and if you want to become a blue baby too, make sure to press the join button. And damn, pigeon do be looking kind of thick today. And here we are in the pigeon's cockpit. 
Does it match my steering angle? Yeah, we've got 900 degrees of rotation, which uh, I think it's, it should match the pigeon. No idea though. Okay, so we have 30% force feedback. It seems kind of light. It's really smooth though, and like super silent, so th this is fucking good. I'm putting it into gear, and here we go, I guess. Shit, I had my handbrake on, fuck. Anyways. <laughs> After a great start, fuck yes. All good for now. Why isn't this? Doesn't seem very force feedback. We should be all set now. <laughs> okay. Let's fucking go. It moves, it moves. Okay, we have force feedback. Very nice. No, come on. I can do clutch dumps now. Fuck yes. Holy shit. I may want some of the force feedback soon. So I'm gonna go with a bit of a hood view. What the fuck am I? We should be back. Damn, my hood cam is really fucking loud. No! So my camera overheated again, but when it was cooling down, I decided to upgrade the pigeon and add traffic. So it's gonna be quite interesting. But you know what I really want to try? Third person. So let's fucking go. Yes. Yo sim racers. Look at this. This is actually not bad. <laughs> It just dropped out of gear. Why the fuck? All right, a set of course, so let's fucking go. All right, so we're in the prosh. Let's fucking go. You know what? I think I'm gonna increase the force feedback. So we were running at 30% force feedback earlier, which according to my calculations is, 2.4 newton meters. So this right now should be the G29 maxed out. So you know what? Let's go to the Thrustmaster, which is four newton meters, I guess. So 50% for fuck. Oh, this is this is hard. Okay, let's go. Damn. Oh yeah, I'm so bad at this. Shit. Yeah, the force feedback feels much better here. What the fuck? This feels like a proper workout. What the fuck was that gear check? Can I drift it? Impossible, impossible. Let's find out. High speed drift. Wait, I haven't set my handbrake, fuck. Why does everything sound better with a wheel? What the fuck? Oi, oi, almost a drift. That was almost a fucking drift. Fuck. The force feedback is insane in this game. Oh, and now for the sim races. Third person in a Saru Corsa, baby. Let's fucking go. Boy, does it look pretty. I mean, how can you compare this to this? I mean, to be honest, it is still kind of pretty though. I do kind of want to try drifting though. So we're now in the drift map with the AE86. I'm just bad, I'm just bad. What? Mm -hmm. 
I am not in reverse. This is reverse. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Fuck yes. Look at that. Look at that. So we're now in Forza. But this feels wrong. My clutch doesn't work, but still the steering feels ass. And I think the force feedback is on, because it does vibrate. Nah, this is trash, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what? No, no, let, let me, let me. This does not feel good at all. I mean, it looks stunning, but look at that. Car or submarine? Hard to tell. This is the only game where I feel safe going up to eight Newton meters. Yeah, now you do feel a bit more detailed, but still, it's pretty vague. Nah, fuck this shit. Fuck that. 100 euro per sta merda. Ma si può, cazzo, ma si può.